Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bible. Are you ready for Jolly Fun number 27? You know we only have six more challenge lessons and then we'll be done with this spring review and challenge. So before we get started, let's do some breathing to calm our bodies. Do you remember how Inky taught us one way to breathe to calm our bodies? Let me see if I can get Inky to help us. There's Inky. All right, let's see if you remember. All right, here we go. Remember you put, whoop, you gonna show us how to do this, Inky? Remember, one hand on your heart and the other one down on your tummy. All right, so one hand on your heart, one hand on your tummy, and remember when you breathe in, you poke your tummy out, and when you breathe out, you pull your tummy in. Let's do that again. One more. Now, in today's challenge lesson, we're going to be learning about a funny spelling for the sound Maybe you already know it. It's in the middle of the word elephant. Let's go. Here's a picture of an elephant. And the spelling for the f sound in the middle of elephant is on the elephant. Can you see? Sometimes we use a P and an H to represent the f sound. Let's go to the next page and see if we can read some words with that sound in it. All righty, let's move Miss Bible out of the way here. I'm going to pop myself way up at the top. And then on the elephant, you're going to see some different words. Let's see if we can read this word elephant. Ready? Elephant. Because we don't say elephant. Is that an elephant? No, it's an elephant. So when we see that PH, boys and girls, we need to remember to read it as All right, let's see if there are some more words we can read with that funny spelling for f, which is PH. Are you ready? Let's see if we can read the next one. Whoa, let's try this word. Ready? D, all, fin. What's the word? Dolphin. And again, what two letters are making that f sound? The P and the H. That's right. All righty, let's erase that and let's go to our next word. Let's see if we can read it. Are you ready? G, r, gr, a, p, h, -huh. is this grap, -huh? No. Remember, P and H together make the f sound. So let's try to read it. Ready? Gr, a, f. Graph, like a graph you might make in math class. All right, whoa, let's erase our little sound. Move it over underneath of our PH, which is making our f sound. This is like a 10th grade word, boys and girls. Let's see if you can try and read it, ready? M, mm, it looks like m, mm, ikra, mikra, but I happen to know this is a bit of a tricky word and this I, is actually a long I. So let's try that. Mike, micra, micra, looks like micra, micra, own. Did you get it? Micra, own, microphone. Wow, what a giant word that is. All right, here's our next one. Let's erase this guy. Let's mark that PH. Ready? Here we go. Let's try to read this word. Phantom. Phantom. Do you know what a phantom is, boys and girls? A phantom is like another word for ghost, okay? Phantom. Ooh, let's fix that. We'll make that a little longer. I think you can read this one. It looks like fata. Fata. But when you have a camera or you have a smartphone, do you take a fata of somebody or do you take a photo? 
Yes, this is a bit of a tricky word. Photo. Photo. Even though this looks like to, like I'm going to the store, this is an O sound and an O sound here. So this is a tricky word. Let's try to read it again. Ready? Photo. Photo. Do you remember, boys and girls, the rule about first you try one vowel and then you try the other? So if I was reading and my sentence was, I want to take a photo of the mountain, but I read, I want to take a fata of the mountain. In my brain, I would be thinking fata. That doesn't sound like an English word. And so instead of using ah, I'm going to try o. Oh. And if I try o, oh, then I can read the word photo. So remember that rule. First try the short vowel. And if that doesn't make sense, then flip it to the long vowel, okay? First the short vowel, then flip it to the long vowel. And that might help you make sense of what you're reading. Whoa, here's a giant word. Let's get rid of our line here. And let's underline our sound. All right, let's see. This is a musical instrument. I'm going to give you a hint. Let's see if we can figure it out. Ax, sax, ah, own, saxophone, a saxophone. Yeah, you might have seen one of those if you've ever been to a concert. All right, let's see what our next word is. All righty, let's move our pH. Here we go. Let's read this one. Remember? Ah, ooh, sorry, boys and girls, get rid of our pencil. Al, ab, et, alpha, bet, alphabet. Did you hear how this ah sounded like an ah? Uh? Sometimes the vowels will do that in the middle or at the end of a word. So you can say alpha, alphabet, alphabet, or alphabet. Either is fine. What is the alphabet? It's the letters that we use for reading and writing, right? All right, here's our last one. Phone. 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 Like I will use my phone to call my friend. Good reading work, boys and girls. All right, here we go. Now, let's do dolphin. Dolphin. Here's our phantom, phantom, and our last one is phone. Good job, boys and girls. All right, now let's see if we can practice some of those tricky words that we have to really be on our toes for because we see them in a lot of books. We're going to need them in our writing, and they don't always follow the rules that we've been taught about the English sounds. Ready? Let's see if you can read them. Here we go. Like. Witch. And boys and girls, this is a witch, not like in a Halloween story, but like as a question word, if I said to you, which cookie do you want? Okay. Why. Have. Who live little what where down when and give remember <clears throat> excuse me when you're reading or writing your tricky words you need to be on your toes for those tricky parts. Now, here's Fergus. He wants to learn about tricky words, too. Let's put our spotlight on, and we're going to work mainly on our green words today. So let's get our spotlight on. There it is. All right, and let's see if Miss Bible can get to a green word. There's one right there. Now, if you read this just like it sounded, it would look sound like this. Wahoya. Wahoya. But do we say, Wahoya, are you wearing your coat? Or would we say, Why are you wearing your coat? This is the tricky word, why. The wa is not tricking us, but the h and the ya 
is really tricking us, isn't it, Fergus? All right, so again, let's spell it and read it. Ready? Here we go. W-H-Y-Y. -Y. Ooh, there was a little clue when we say the letter name Y. That might remind you that this is the word Y. All right, let's see if we can find another green one. There's another one. Oh, another questioning word. Who? Who? Which part is tricking you, boys and girls? Listen. Who? I don't hear any wa, and this looks like ah, but it's really ooh. So the two parts that are tricking us are the W and the O. Again, when we read it, we read who. Let's spell it and read it. Ready? W-H-O, who. And I'm going to go back down here because I think we forgot to spell this one. Ready? Let's spell and read it. W-H-Y-Y. -Y. Now, I think there was, here's another one. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Another question word. And it's the question word, which. Let's spell it. Ready? W-H-I-C-H, which. Which parts of which are tricking you? Let's listen. Wa, I hear that. Do we hear a h? No. Do we hear an i? Yeah. And a ch? Yeah. So in which, the only part that's tricking us is that h. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Let's spell it and read it again. W-H-I-C-H, -H, which. All right, let's see. I thought I had another green one. Let's see. Did we? No, I guess not. I'm thinking. Let's take this off. Oh, we forgot this question word, where. So let's put it back on and go down here for another questioning word, where. All right, let's spell it and read it, boys and girls. W-H-E-R-E. Where, like where are you going? Let's figure out the tricky parts, ready? Wa, that's okay. Do I hear a ha? Huh? No. And then this E-R-E -E we read as air. The R is okay, but those two E's are tricking me. Wow, almost every letter in this word is tricking me except the wa. Again, this is the word where, like where are you going? Not like please wear your sweater, okay? Let's spell it and read it. W-H-E-R-E, -E, where? Good job, boys and girls. All righty, let's go to our next activity. Here are two more tricky words for you. This one looks like Anya. But would I say, do you have Anya crayons I could borrow? No. I would say, do you have any crayons I could borrow? So let's spell and read this word, any. Ready? A -N -Y, A-N-Y, any. Now, if you know any, then you know this other tricky word, many. Yes, we just put a m in the front, many. Do you have any crayons? Yes, I have many. Now, before we leave today, let's see if we can write some of those words that we were working with that have the f sound spelled with a P-H. All right, let's see if you can figure out what two words I'm thinking of here. I took a hmm of an hmm. Now, if I told you this was a story about animals I took a picture of, hmm, and that I took, instead of a picture, I'm going to use the word photo. Let's see if we could spell photo. Ready? See if you can spell it with me. Remember, it sounds like a f, but we're going to start with our P-H. I took a photo. I took a photo of an what? Hmm. What animal name do you think that might be? If I gave you a hint and told you there's a P-H in the middle, I bet you could get it. Did you think elephant? If you did, you were right. See if you can write it as I put it up here. E -o -e -f -e -t. Elephant. Right. Elephant. I took a photo of an elephant. 
Now look at our next sentence. I took a blank of a blank. I bet we could put photo in here and it would make sense. Photo, remember P and H make our f sound. I took a photo of a, if I told you this animal lived in the ocean, will that help you get it? Let's see, it starts with a d, d, a, o, in. What's the word, boys and girls? Dolphin. All right, let's go back and read those two. Ready? I took a photo of an elephant. I took a photo of a dolphin. Hmm, let's look at our closing sentence. I took these somethings with my something. Hmm. Remember what we were taking of the animals? We were taking photos. So now let's try to write photos. We have an extra sound on the end. Photos. I took these photos with my, see if you can read this word. Did you figure it out? I took these photos with my pahon? No, with my phone. Now let's read all three sentences. Ready? Here we go. I took a photo of an elephant. I took a photo of a dolphin. I took these photos with my phone. Good work today, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.